Hello and welcome back. As you can see today I did a rather uh, special thing or uh, yeah not special but um, I did the second part of the antler set. Well it's not a set it's more like two pieces that uh, fit together and for those of you who don't know uh, who don't know it um this is taken from the cartoon the owl house so a friend of mine uh, introduced me to the uh, owl house uh, cartoon and yeah since then i became really interested in it. it's it's fun it's interesting it's uh, working with a few topics i think are uh, underrepresented uh, currently and need and I think it's, it's good that they get a voice uh, for example one of the topics is LGBTQ um, content so yeah um, sadly enough they already said they are uh, only doing two seasons and a few specials to wrap up the story so they yeah there's already a finish or a, an end inside for the uh, uh, for the cartoon, but uh, yeah, it's it's a really good one. Uh, it's really fun to watch, and I got involved enough to create some OCs. So I I did one, and and uh, that friend of mine um, also had some thoughts about his. OC and yeah I actually wanted to do this in October but as I told you enough times due to work I just didn't have the time in the end of October to finish anything or to even sit down and, and do something in hexagon and that's so um, yeah um, I put this on the very beginning of uh, November uh, I had a um, yeah, at the weekend I just had um, a slight detour. I was like, okay, hey, I'm I'm doing this. This looks really fast and 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 simple, and it was not. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's. I I still I came around to do it, and I still owe you a indoor scene. And I will definitely do it this uh, year. I don't know when. Um, yeah, right now I don't really have a schedule of what 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 do I want to do next. Uh, what what do I want to work on? It's more like I'll see where my uh, where the flow takes me, where I where my interests take me. So uh, yeah, we'll see when I do this. Um, yeah, I, I I stitched a few pieces together. For example, the, um, I used the yoga pants uh, that already existed. I used the uh, shirt base, and I used the high color accessory thing that I already made, and uh, used them as a base for a bigger one piece. Um, that is the whole hexad uniform. Yeah. Uh, also, in other news, um, I don't know if you're interested or not if you watch uh, this uh, video, but I actually decided to make a round and go back to a uh, kind of let's plays. Um, I analyzed what was the problem with my uh, let's play that I did and in the end I just showed you uh, games that are either sandboxy or very repetitive so basically um, for example Deep Rock Galactic you have missions but there, there's no end the game has no story and no finish and the same goes for most of the sandbox stuff um, also I'm not really good at those uh, games but uh, there's a few games I uh, played and I finished that have a story. For example, uh, Bastion is a good uh, example or Slime Rancher. And um, with beginning of next Monday, the 14th, which also marks my uh, 
the 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 end of the first year the start of the second year of my youtube content i will return to i will start a new let's play series and i think it will be slime rancher or bastion one of those two um yeah it'll consist of um videos of about 15 minutes i think uh, where i play either a, sim a single stage or um yeah a certain uh a part of uh the game uh depending on with with which one i start and uh yeah i'll see if that uh works better for me than uh showing you a sandbox game where i'm yeah sandbox games i, I like them but I, and i have a lot of them but I usually start at some point and never finish because I just, I start a play and at some point I just get bored and uh, drop it. This happened with um, Terraria and also with a few others that I regularly touch. For example, uh, City Skylines is a good example. I start playing and at the point where I have enough money to just start off projects and, and do the next one uh, immediately i lose interest because the challenge is uh, lost and with story games you always have a story to follow that you can show the players or uh, you and yeah so um next monday i will start with the with another let's play series in memory of yeah or, or the um, yeah in in search of the second year on of my youtube content and yeah we'll see how long i can keep it up but i can keep it up pretty long so uh don't think you get me get uh, rid of me that easily anyhow back to the uh topic at hand yeah this was actually a lot uh, um, a lot more challenging than i thought i mean it didn't take as much time as i anticipated first and it is really 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 basic so um the whole thing is really um really basic really simple simplistic um it's i really oriented myself on the cartoons where you have simple shapes where you don't have any extravagant details on the clothing there isn't even a logo or something so yeah, this is one on one the uh the part from the from the uh cartoon. Or mostly one on one. Um as you can see I worked on the um female model, but in the end I translated them to the male model. I just worked on the uh, female model because it was simpler um and faster and i'm more used to it um and also i had the um the closing already done so i had uh, only uh, had to do a part of it um yeah but um yeah as you can see i um uh on on the render at the end i translated to the to the um to the male model so it will look a bit weird and also just as a heads up i uh, since the series focuses on uh kids or, or teenagers as heroes i also used the morph to uh make the models appear younger just uh, so you know beforehand Anyhow, um, almost done with this. You can already see I'm working on the textures. What is interesting is that each leg and each uh, sleeve has their own texture, simply because I needed that to convey the different uh, uh, comments in, in the series. So if you're interested now what I mean with caverns and what this is all about, I can really suggest watching uh, The Owl House. It's a really fun and interesting uh, series. 
and yeah you should uh, if, if you can take the time and and enjoy the show yeah that's it from me i hope you uh, enjoyed my rambling the infos and the video uh as usual if you have any questions just uh, post them um below i hope you're all right and hopefully see you sometime <laughs>